Hello my little butterflies and today I'm going to be reviewing I Don't Belong to You by Kiki Palmer. Okay people, so I'm in a rush with the sunlight going down and um, I'm going to try to keep this video short and simple because lately my videos have been hitting 17 and 20 minutes and I really want to keep this short. So I'm talking to you guys about I Don't Belong to You by Kiki Palmer, How to Quiet the Noise and Find Your Voice. And this is my first self-help book I can ev I have ever read. I don't think I've ever read any self-help before. This is my very first and I loved it so much. I love Kiki Palmer period so I just knew I was going to love this book. But I just had fears that this book was like, I, I just had fears about self-help genre in general because I'm thinking that it's going to be people thinking they got it all together and they're trying to tell me what to do. Like they know all the answers. And so I was just so happy. I get this five stars out, by the way. And um, I was just so happy that that's not what Kiki was doing. Like this book was just such a, oh my God, it was so amazing. Like it was just so beautiful. First and foremost, I'm just so happy that reading this, like you know it's Kiki that wrote this. Like if you know Kiki in any kind of way, shape or form, if you know her, this was her. Like reading this is like in your mind, you're hearing her voice reading it to you. It's almost like having an audio book in your head while you're reading this. It's like, yeah, I hear her voice saying that. I hear her saying it. And a lot of times with celebrities, it seems like when they write books, it don't really sound like them. So I'm so happy that this was her. You know it was her that wrote this and I was just so happy and that blew me away. Also, I really enjoyed reading about how she came to like know herself, how she came to like learn certain things about herself. And it's like sometimes, you know, I'm 21 and sometimes I might find out new stuff about myself that I didn't know so I really enjoy watching her find out new things about herself and also watching her make her mistakes throughout her whole life childhood up to her I think she's 24 now and, and now and her learning from her mistakes and sitting back and actually like recapping and like realizing and like telling herself look well we did this last time and we're not going to make that same mistake again and I really enjoyed that because she shows she's not perfect it was everything didn't just go great um from her rise to stardom it didn't happen like that you know it, it didn't it wasn't something that happened overnight she had you know failures and she also had victories and it's just you know she's normal just I really love that she wasn't like again like acting like she had it all together and she's telling you what you need to do if you want to get to where she's at she's not telling you that all she's telling you just like just like plain and simple these are the mistakes that I made in my life these are the situations I found myself in this is how I handled them then and if that was the wrong way I handled them I see that I should have handled it differently now so now I know if I'm faced with that same situation, I will handle it differently. And I just, I enjoyed that because I, I just knew like if it was going to be her like just telling me what to do, like I got it all together and I'm just going to tell you knowing she has issues and flaws and mistakes herself, I probably wouldn't have liked it. But I love the fact that she showed that I'm not perfect either and this is what I had to go through to get where I am. So don't think it's something that's just going to fall out the sky for you and you're going to have like a, a straight you know, paved road out laid in front of you to get to wherever you want to get to. It's going to be bumps and there's going to be boulders in the way and hurdles. You have to get over that. And she just basically telling you, you know, it's your life. It's up to you how you decide to live your life and the choices you make in your life. It's not up to anyone else, not even her. My favorite part of this book was just the fact that, you know, she like straight up told you without sugarcoating it. All of her ups and downs getting in the industry. All her ups and downs and her failures and her victories. Not just like not getting in the industry but also staying in the industry as well. Like it's a struggle. It's not something that, that's just plain old easy. You have to like really work to get in it but you have to work harder to stay there. So I just I really enjoyed reading that. And, it's, and I just really enjoyed that she didn't sugarcoat it. She straight up tells you this is how it is. You know, so that way, if that's something that you're trying to get into, you're not just saying everybody's going to be all nice and it's going to be what you want all the time, but sometimes you have to stand up for what you want. And speaking of the industry, that's another thing I really enjoyed because she didn't just talk about her career. She talked about, you know, uh, how her sexual experiences, how she thought her sex life would be and how it would make her look versus what it, she actually came to realize that it's normal and it is what it is. You're going to like her, you're not going to like her. And how she talked about um, like making relationships and breaking relationships with people, friendships and you know family um, drama that went on in her life during all of this time. And I just I really enjoyed that because you see her as a human and not just this celebrity. You're not just Kiki Palmer. You see her as herself. 
I just thought this book was just so beautiful and amazing. Like, it just, I love the emojis in it, and it wasn't an overkill of, of emojis. Like, and when it starts off, you think it's going to be an overkill, but after, like, you know, like the first couple pages, you don't really see them as often. And I just love the hashtags. She had hashtags in there. I just thought those was amazing. And also, when she had, um, when she would put quotes, I just thought those were just amazing and just so beautiful and colorful. Just stuff like this, I just thought was just so amazing. And I just, I had to like mark a bunch of things in here. Just like quotes from her, you know, uh, quotes that she recorded from people. Just like stuff that just made me scream. I know one moment I was just like, it's so loud, like, oh my God. Because she included a, a quote from Rudy Francisco and he's a poet, if you guys don't know. And I was just like, oh my God, she knows Rudy. Oh my God, she knows Rudy. Oh my and my fiance is like, who the hell is Rudy? And I'm like, he's a poet and he's awesome. If you guys don't know Rudy, you guys should go check him out. Look him up on YouTube because he has videos out there if you guys don't know. He also has a couple collections of poetry that are out. So you guys should check that out too. But Rudy Prince is awesome. But okay, we're going to get off of him. But it's just that I can sit here and relate to Kiki. And I'm just like, yes, amazing. So just because she was so relatable, I honestly think like girls like 13, 14 would really enjoy this book. Not saying that, you know, older girls like myself because I'm 21 not going to enjoy it. I'm just saying like this is a really great book to give a 13 or 14 year old that's like coming into their own and, you know, you know, coming into their own life and, you know, they're starting to figure stuff out for themselves because she tells you her struggle growing up and because she's closest to that age, you know, girls that age might take advice from Kiki, Kiki Palmer better than their mom. And it's like, it's crazy, but that's how it is. You always take advice better from somebody like closer to your age than like your mom or your grandmother or your father or your grandpa you know so i just think this would be great to give like a younger girl that's you know uh, coming of age that might need some guidance but not might not want to talk to her parents about it or can't talk to their parents about it and you can see somebody that's closer to your age that understands what you're going through and went through the same thing and so it might give you a little bit ease i just I love this book, you guys. Like, I love this so much. I really enjoyed it. And I'm so happy this is the first self-help self, self -help book that I've read because, like, I'm so excited now to get into this genre. I'm just, like, I'm, I'm just, like, head over heels because this book was so amazing. So, you know, it's looking up for this genre. So, I'm just, I... Oh my god, I started the year off wonderful, you guys. So, thank you guys for watching that video. That's all I have to say about this. If you don't already, you know, if this book is already on the TV, you guys should definitely check it out. It was worth the read. It was very amazing. It was very beautiful, you guys. Um, yeah, and if you don't know who Kiki Palm is, I don't know what you are doing with your life. Where have you been if you don't know her? She has been in so many movies. Google her. YouTube her. I guarantee you know this girl. Okay, you guys. Thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.